Hey, I'm Mark, and today's project we're going to be building a simple bench it's for some friends of mine. They just want to put it outside their door where they can uh, take their shoes on and off and uh, have something that looks decent. So I've spared you the agony of watching me cut it on my sawmill. Uh, that took a few minutes. <clears throat> and I'm going to leave it rough cut, but the first thing I want to do is lay out the where this brace is going to go in. I want to sand box where it's going to glue and connect together. <clears throat> Alright, now that we got it sanded, next thing we want to do is draw where this is going <clears> to <throat> hit. I, uh, I've already centered it. I'm going to take a straight edge and make sure that it's not twisted any. And it was. And we'll just take a pencil and we'll draw two sides of it. We'll do the same for the other side. All right. <clears throat> Next, we want to take the biscuit cutter. I put a mark and a matching mark there, and I labeled one side one and one side two so that <clears throat> we don't get confused. We we'll just line it up, push down on it, and we'll. And you want to push real hard down and go real slow. like that. Next we're going to get our Craig tool and uh, we're going to put some screws in this as well. well. Next we're going to take our Craig jig. It's a device that will drill a hole at an angle and leaves a flat shoulder inside for a screw. And it will come in at an angle about like that and be real strong. So we clamp this in. I'm about an inch and an eighth back. Just take a simple C clamp. And we'll drill it out. And you can see how it leaves the slot and then that screw will go in. Got a good flat side to it, and tighten it all down. We're gonna do one on the bottom side too. I'm doing it on the back and the bottom so it won't be seen. We're also gonna do the legs where it attaches to the top bench as well. Well, we got this firmed and the glue's drying. Next thing we'll do is lay out for the top. Now I'm using <clears throat> one piece of wood. It's not multiple pieces glued together. And this is actually the live edge, the outside part of the tree. We're gonna leave it to the front, kind of decorative. But since I'm using one solid piece, or even if I'm using multiple pieces glued together, uh, the problem you run into is that the wood will warp and cup on you over time. Especially this is going to be going outside. So a trick that I do, and I even do this on farm tables that I make. Uh, on the underneath side we're going to take a skill saw and cut a kerth in it right down the middle here. <clears throat> the wood's about an inch and three quarters thick so I want to go seven eighths of an inch into it and just cut a slot and that will help control some of the expansion. And Next, we want to cut the biscuit slots into the top. Well, I got it fitted on there. You always want to test it dry, make sure everything lines up. So, next, we'll get it glued in. Now that the glue's dried, I'm going to give it a good sanding with a 120 grit sandpaper. I want to leave the saw marks in it, but I want to get all the really rough stuff off. Well, she chose a gun stock color for the top board, 
and then for the bottom legs and braces it's all going to be this gray i may have to stain it more than once to get the color she desires Oh, I got two coats of stain on it to get that deep, rich look to it that she was wanting. And we're going to be using a spar urethane by Helmsman. It's an indoor-outdoor, since this, this is going to be used outdoor. So I'm going to give it two coats, and we'll sand between coats. Well, that's the finished product the final coat's still wet it's <clears throat> it only took me uh, about an hour and 15 minutes as far as man hours to do it a uh, couple of days waiting on glue and varnish to dry and sanding and all but pretty simple project i well, appreciate y'all watching thanks